Hi, I just want to explain something about my videos. Because I know there'll be people on forums and stuff griping that I'm negative and stuff. But it's all to do with this. It's just thinking. Now, I'm not running down the Philippines. I did well on the Philippines. And what I will say about the Philippines is it's all about this. If you're sitting there thinking everything's going to be great, which people do. I mean, this week I had somebody... Um, a couple of weeks ago, they asked me to investigate their girlfriend, um, asked me what my opinion was on her, and I come back and I found, well, not me personally, I contacted some people I know, and they come back and they found out that his girlfriend has had a boyfriend since 2007, I'm 50-50 that they've already got a child, um, and this guy is still talking with the girl so I cut her off cut him off yesterday because simply if he can't see what's right in front of him then good luck to him because he's gonna need it the reason I say that is I have no patience for these people anymore uh, I help people that need that need genuine help not people that walk into it so if you watch my videos, you'll see there's certain scenarios where you're thinking, ah, yeah, I've got to watch for that. Then you're switched on. But if you're sitting there thinking, well, that doesn't happen. I've, I've looked on forums and these people don't have. They're retirees. Retirees are very different. Retirees sit on the beach and do nothing all day. They sit in a subdivision. They do nothing all day. They'll gripe online. They spend their day on the internet. If you're switched on, um, looking to do business, looking to make money in the Philippines, then I'm the guy you want to talk to. Um, there's plenty of people that I wasn't even aware of until recently. They come back to me and says the reason I went to the Philippines was because of the stuff you wrote in your blog. And it, it was like a bit of a shock because I hadn't really <laughs> realized how many people there was. Um, but the fact is, my friend Graham's doing really well in the Philippines now and I've got several other friends from the UK and Australia all doing good in the Philippines but they're switched on the reason I put negative stuff out there is you can turn around think what if the, re the reason I put what ifs there is because then you just think about it you don't buy into it. You, you got to think about it. Everything I put on the internet is real. Um, it doesn't happen to everybody, but a lot of these retirees will mess around and say, oh, well, that can't be real, da, 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 because they don't go anywhere. Uh, I know plenty of people that just get out the airport, go to the compound or subdivision where their wife's family are, and they do nothing. They don't go anywhere from there. But they'll have strong opinions on the Philippines because they know more than somebody that's been there for seven years. Right, so the point is, when I went to the Philippines, we started from a very small apartment. Um, we took that, we got an internet cafe started. We took, uh, sorry, the piggery. And the piggery then become the foundations of the internet cafe. The internet cafe become apartment one. Apartment one become the downstairs apartment two become the upstairs and then to the side become the sorry sorry store um, that was how we built it year on year we built things up from scratch um, on top of the sorry sorry store after my trip to Oman we then put in the office the office developed the call center because we started doing uh, data processing from data processing we did telemarketing telemarketing took that from three people to five to forty that then helped get the next building which gave us another three apartments on the ground floor uh, which is two apartments plus the call center plus a three bedroom apartment on the top you can do all this stuff this is what this is the whole point of this I did this from nothing and there's no reason nobody else can if they have the right mindset and this is the whole point of it I know there'll be people trying to run me down there'll be people trying to run you down but this is why I go against the grain and go against the tide is the fact is success is built on people willing to go the extra mile 
what people that see the opportunities where other people don't and this is why everything I do is set in a way to say look everyone else wants to tell you everything's great fantastic did it but they're doing nada nothing ask them what they do ask them what they do to generate money and most will be on SSS checks there will be doing nothing what I did is I went to the Philippines with nothing and I built that up to residual incomes I built that up to a future for everybody for my in-laws my wife my kids and that's the way we're going but I just wanted to say this because I'm going to make it very clear there is nothing to stop you being successful in the Philippines if you're willing to put the hard work in it's not easy it never is and but it's not impossible I did it um, and I'm still going to be progressing in the Philippines.